Hello, everybody. Good to see you. Thank you. Um, you are about to embark on, on another career path, but tell me why you want to stay an actor as you try some new parts of the industry. Yeah. Um, I get, and particularly in this experience, um, I get to come to work every day and discover. I'm not an actor who thinks I know everything about the character I play. That's been the joy in the writing. It's been the joy in, in coming to work. Uh, and, you know, working on something, you go through many stages, you know. You talk about the things that you might want to tackle in a season. You discuss plot lines and new characters, and then things start getting written and you got a Bible and then scripts start getting written and then you start working toward that and you do a read through and things are changing and you're saying I'm not sure that is that right and someone else has an idea and it's slowly you get onto the set one day and you have your group of fellow actors that we're all discovering it we're all you know in some cases hoping we're guessing right because you know you don't have all the time in the world and that's, to me, the joy of it is, is showing up every day and in that battle, in that struggle, in that challenge with a group of people. You eventually get to a point where you're like, yeah, I think, I think maybe, this is, maybe this is right today. But every day you're also thinking, God, you know, did I get that? Is that right? Did we do that right? Uh, is it, is it going to end up working when they put it all together? Um, so I, I love the process. And I also hope I'm getting better. You know, I hope I'm getting better at it. I'm still learning, still a student. Hi, Kevin right here, Tanya Hart, American Urban Radio Networks and Online. Congratulations. Thank you. You know, looking at the political climate in today's world, it would be hard to make this up, but as one who has played the president, what would you say we all need to know about politics in America that we may not be paying attention to right now. Oh, I, I don't know. I, I'm playing a fictional character in a fictional television series, and I think that uh, asking an actor like me to comment on current politics is just nothing but a hole for me to fall into that I will never crawl out of. So I appreciate the question, but I think I'll avoid it. Last question, Hi, please. Hi, Kevin. Mike Schneider from TV Guide Magazine. You mentioned Bo Williman in your acceptance speech. Mention you mentioned Bo in your acceptance speech, but can you talk a little bit more about his departure, what it means for the show, and, and he's been such a, you know, this has been his brainchild. In, in moving forward without Bo, what are you expecting uh, we might see different about House of Cards moving forward? It's a great question. I have no fucking idea how to answer you. I mean, literally, we don't, we don't have, uh, we don't have, we haven't, made any decisions about who might come in. There's a tremendous amount of discussions and work to be had. I mean, as I said up there tonight, and I meant it, um, I wish Bo all the best. You know, he's, he's worked tirelessly for four seasons, and I think whatever he's going to go on to, he's going to continue to show an extraordinary range as a writer and an understanding of the human condition, and I hope that he and I will work together again someday. Um, but it's, uh, you know, it's incredibly early for me to be even vaguely talking about what I think will happen or what we're going to try to make happen. But I meant what I said up there. We will, without question, honor the road that he paved. Thank you, everybody.